What is this up here? Is that metal? Or is that... Ooh, I think, hold on. Yeah, I'm not mining it right now. It looks like it's the oil rock. But I think it's the oil rock that you need to put, like, the pump on. Ooh, let's see. How do you make one of those? I don't even know if you can here or if it's like, oh, you have to do it in Scorched Earth. Okay, I guess I can. So that's good. Extract oil from an oil zone. And that's really, really cheap. 25 crystal, 25 electronics, 75 uh, metal ingots. We have a tech one, too. What? We have an A plus one, too. Uh, what would that even be? A plus. Accessories plus? I haven't... I think our backpack is from Accessories Plus, isn't it? I don't know what the difference between this one is uh, and like a regular one. Extract stone, oil, and obsidian over time. This one's just oil. Ooh, so you can get obsidian and stone from this as well. Interesting. And it requires 100 metal ingots instead of 75. No electronics, but uh, 50 cement base and 25 gasoline. Interesting. I don't know, i have to think about that, but yeah, this is good to know that we could actually see these over here. I think I said whenever I first came into the, uh, to the biome, I was, like, wondering if there are any of those around here. Those oil, like, deposits or whatever that you can, like, put a, a pump on top of. But yeah, that's, that's good to know that there are some around here, and there's one at... Eh. Oh, whoa, there's that structure, that, like, UFO-looking thing. Yeah, I was about to say, like, relatively close to our base, but no, you're, we're, <laughs> we're pretty far from our base right now, to be quite honest. And we're actually kind of up on, a uh, carry weight right now, too. 788 out of 995, we could probably drop a little bit of more stone and maybe some other stuff, but like we're, we're starting to really get up there, you know? I, I'm definitely feeling like we should go back home, drop off all the metal, maybe, maybe set our other magma sword to like smelting mode or whatever. Then of course put a, a decent amount of metal inside of our regular forges as well. And then, uh, oh man, there's a magma sword back there. And then what I want to do is maybe come back to the volcano, like go actually inside of the volcano and then see if we could find like a, a triple digit level egg or something. You know, something over level 100, something that's going to be classified as, you know, a high level, like I said a few episodes ago, you know, like 0 to 50 or whatever. I guess 1 to 50 would be low, then 51 to 100 would be medium, and then like 101 to 150 would be high level, so. Oh, whoa, there's like actual crystal over here, though. Is that crystal or is that salt? I think it's crystal. That'd be good if there was salt over here, too, but uh, I suppose we could see if we can mine it. I think we were able to uh, test it out earlier with this guy, because... I never saw any crystal slash salt deposits or whatever. Okay, yeah, we are able to get crystal with this guy in a pretty good amount, too. <laughs> That's good. Eh, how much should we get right there? Like, maybe 500 or something like that? I don't think we're mining any more from that vein. It might just be decoration or maybe just little, little broken pieces of crystal on the ground right there. <laughs> but yeah, we're, we're still getting a ton of materials over here nonetheless, which is awesome. I'm definitely going to have to drop off, like, pretty much all the stone. Uh, I'll keep all the obsidian in my inventory, obviously, because, of course, that's great for making, like, polymer and other high-value materials, as well as upgrading and stuff like that, too. Uh, going to keep all the metal in my inventory, obviously. And anyway, I think we're over and covered now, yeah. I don't think we're able to move. Yeah, get rid of the wood, get rid of the stone. That's a ton of stone right there, jeez. And, uh, does Crystal weigh less in his inventory? No, it weighs the same in his inventory compared to mine. Okay. Uh, we're at 12,000 out of 17,000 health. I guess I'll get a little bit more health right there, about 500 more points. Don't mind if I do. And I suppose we'll go discover this glitch or, uh, fix the glitch real quick, and then we'll teleport home with Helena. And then I suppose we can come back and then try and find that higher level egg that I wanted to do. So let's go fix this glitch. If you were going to glitch the Genesis simulation, at least have some fun with it. That's what Survivor 4405T31 did. He came up with an elaborate heating and plumbing system, just so he could make a working hot tub and invite all his friends to a party. So, through the glitch... Same thing that crashes every hot tub party. Too many people in the tub at once! What? <laughs> That's such a ridiculous thing to throw back and glitch. Just too many people in, in a hot tub at once. And it just breaks the simulation. <laughs> That's stupid. I like it though. A little, little bit of memes in here. Either way, a little bit of more metal right there, which is awesome. So I suppose now we could actually go teleport back home. Uh, hold on, that's the wrong thing. Let's see, let's drop the stone. Boom, there you go. So once we're actually in the home area, whoa, whoa, I was like inside that little protective uh, cockpit right there. Oh man, there's a magma sword up there we need to watch out for. Uh, let's see, biome teleportation. Uh, where is it? Volcanic, southeast I think it was. Yep, there you go, nice. I do see a magma sword up there though we need to watch out for. Make sure it doesn't come over here, but I'm like, we're in the process of teleporting right now, so I don't think we need to worry about it. But let's just head back home. Throw all the stuff up inside of the forges and get them smelting all that kind of jazz and hopefully we can actually go inside the volcano and find ourselves a high level magma sore egg and basically just use this first magma sore as like a stepping stone to an even higher level and even better magma sore. I just hope these magma sores don't have any ears because I don't want them to hear me say that, right? <laughs> but either way, yeah, let me make my way back home. Oh, whoa, 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 what's happening? Oh, there's a Rex over there to like 
attacking our uh, Magma Sword. I think they're set to neutral, so yeah, I think they're attacking back. 321 damage and 100 and something over there. Gotta walk over our Magma Sword, uh, Angler right there. Let's charge up some metal. And 99%, boom! Killed the X-Rex right there, just shot it right in his butt! Killed him! And is there another st is there a st yep, there's a stagger right there. I don't know if I'm able to get him from here. So it's going to- yep, that hit our house. Whoops. <laughs> oh, I love how it still explodes in like a glorious explosion of just fire and molten metal. Which is funny. <laughs> but- oh, Lysosaurus right there. Watch out! Kill the Lysosaurus! I wonder if I can kill it. It's not going to hit it, but is that- Oh, wow, it actually does a pretty good amount of splash damage, which is good. It was actually able to- and there you go, Lysosaurus dead. <laughs> It was actually able to still uh, damage that Lysosaurus even though I didn't hit it like head on. That's really cool. Nice. Either way, uh, yeah, I definitely want this one to heal up a little bit. Maybe get some more Ambergris. I want to go to the other uh, Magma Sworn and grab some more Ambergris off of that. It probably has like 80 or something like that in its inventory. Considering it, uh, I guess I could chainsaw this guy, get a little bit of hide. Boom, 128 hide. Uh, considering this one's just been at home the whole time, right? Yeah, 73. So all it's been doing is just eating constantly, I guess, right? Uh, let's just give it, uh, I guess, 15 right there. That's fine. It did uh, lose a little bit of health though, so I'll give it some levels right there for health. It's almost up to. It's actually, I think it actually just did hit 10,000 right there, which is awesome. So let's uh, get this guy to follow. There you go, and get this guy to follow. Boom! There you go, and let's go home. And I suppose we'll just uh, get all that stuff a smelting. I guess we can set this guy to uh, this other one, this lower level one, 86. Right here, even though it was level 80, it had six levels just a moment ago. Uh, we'll, we'll put the metal in its inventory set up to like uh, smelt mode or whatever. See how slow or how fast it is at uh, smelting stuff? And then I guess we'll determine from there. Ah, it's actually. Ah, maybe I'll switch the saddles real quick because. Oh, whoops. Thought I was stuck. Because uh, I, I just want to have a little bit more control. And, oh, I guess, yeah, if anything, we could also see if we could upgrade that saddle a little bit more. Give it a little bit of a. Uh, I don't know if we're going to do armor reagents or actually try and upgrade it at the upgrade station itself and just try and get it to upgrade that away. It might be cheaper that away, just to be quite honest. Because I think all we need is just metal, hide, maybe some enemies, maybe fiber or something like that. Nothing too crazy like Palmer, which is good. So, either way, move him over here. He's going to at least guard defend this area, which is great. And yeah, he still has an Ampergris. A little bit of hide, a little bit of keratin right there. I'll grab that. Don't mind if I do. And I guess I'll set him to smelting mode. There you go. And I'll pull the metal. Uh, raw metal, that is. Ninth. Wait, what? Oh, he must be too far away, though. But we have 10,000-ish? Raw metal in each industrial forge? What? Golly, I didn't think I had that much. I need to make an actual industrial... Because those were S plus, uh... No, they were A plus, I think, right? What were these things again? Yeah, AA are, uh... Did I just say A plus? AA, I meant. AA industrial forge. Yeah, we definitely need to get the actual, like, the giant thing that I usually put on the heckin' roof because they're so heckin' huge. I need to... I def oh, whoa, I need to get more oil water. <laughs> Uh, which is kind of a good meme because oil done mixed with water, right? But yeah, I, I need to make one of those things uh, Put it over here and actually start smelting inside there because it smells like what like six or something like that at a time Instead of like one at a time that that thing does, right? Oh wait. Oh, yeah, I forgot. Yeah, these uh, Industrial forges here AA because they're automated arc They automatically pulled the raw metal from this guy's inventory into them and started smelting them I completely forgot that was a feature. It's really really nice. Uh, I don't think I'm able to smelt multiple at once, right? 21 right there, 22. Yeah, I just, just did one uh, ingot at a time right there. Of course, there's that 21 number again right there. You guys saw that? <laughs> let's see. Uh, let's go forge over here. So there's the industrial mini forge. Okay, yeah, so we can get the AA big boy version of the forge, which is good. But 25 metal ingots, 2,500 metal ingots, obviously. <laughs> Not uh, just 25, I wish. But yeah, if we want to get the big boy, that does like... 6 or 12 or something like that metal at a time. Definitely want to get that one. And it's going to continue to auto pull metal and stuff like that from nearby craters. I think also from my inventory and even chests and stuff, which is going to be great. So definitely want to try and get that, I'd say, over like the S plus industrial forge or the regular industrial forge. Uh, and probably put it on the ceiling or uh, on the roof or whatever, just like we did here. <laughs> In every other arc series, just put on that kind of roof because how huge it is, right? Not necessarily a bad place to put it. Anyways, uh, so how do we do that again? 2,500 metal ingots? I don't know how much we have right now. Go to the AA workbench thing and try and craft it. Industrial, this one, the big one. Uh, oh god, do we actually have enough resources? It's saying all I need is just polymer and cement paste, which we can do easily because we have, uh, obsidian and, out it's like, tons of it, too. Pull the obsidian over here. 2,000 obsidian and 300, uh, in the smithigator top. We have 2,600 obsidian right there. Probably a pretty good amount of, uh... Oh, what happened to the... Oh man, this happened one time off camera. I guess it happened again. Oh, that's the X-Rex. Uh, the AA 
what do you call it? The uh, chemistry bench or whatever died. Oh yeah, I made it. I made an actual chemistry bench over here, didn't I? Yeah, I completely forgot it was a thing. Yeah, refrigerated chemistry bench too, which is nice. I completely forgot I made this thing. Yeah, while I was editing the, that video, I forgot what episode it was. I realized that you can get the congealed gas balls like smelting the con uh, condensed gas in a forge. That's how you do. It. You don't. You don't make it at the the chemistry bench like I initially thought for some reason. I must have been thinking about something else. Either way, let's try and make a pretty good amount of, uh, keratin chitin. Let's try and make, uh, 100 crafts. Or, oh god, 100. Yeah, I'd already had the one there, so, uh, there we go. Let's try and do 100 crafts now, because I think it's good. Okay, I can do 30. Uh, we need to pull gasoline in here, right? Uh, refrigerates materials and requires only power to be activated. Is it turned on right? Oh, there you go. Now it's turned on. Forgot to do that. Remember, <laughs> remember when we had the smithicator top? The mini uh, fabricator, and I was like, "Oh man, I can't make uh, I can't make polymer or whatever on this thing. It's so glitched. It's so weird. It's, uh, they need to fix it." And literally, the problem was I forgot to look at it and hit the turn on button. <laughs> oh, so stupid. Oh yeah, leave that up instantly. Already made all this metabase right there. What? Now, if I wanted to make a hundred, what do I need? Keratin chitin? Really? That's it? I thought we had tons of that stuff. Hold on. Like if I wanted to get keratin and chitin. Oh, I must have spent all of them or something like that, right? Because I, we can get a ton of keratin and chitin pretty easily from all these critters, like, you know, scorpions and stuff like that, no problemo. There we go, two more grass right there. Uh, 192. That should still make a pretty good amount of polymer, though. Uh, let's see if we can make, yeah, we have 80 polymer right there. Let's try and make some more polymer, because we have a lot of obsidian, right? So, uh, yeah, 100 crafts right there. What about the 93 more crafts right there? I think we need, like, just under 300 or something like that just a moment ago, so we're going to hit, like, 200 more uh, polymer right there, so we're getting even closer to being able to, uh, what am I even doing right now? Oh, yeah, we're making the industrial forge thing. <laughs> That's what we're doing. <laughs> Forgot about that, whoops. Oh, yeah, let's see if we can upgrade that saddle real quick, though, before I, uh, Head out and, and try and find another Magmasaur egg. Oh, whoops, that's the wrong thing. Uh, attempt upgrade. There you go. So we need uh, more metal. Whoa, whoa, how much metal ingots do I actually need, though? Oh, wait, no, yeah, yeah. I forgot because this is the upgrade station. You need to put the resources in here. It's not going to auto pull it over here, but 208 uh, Spider Pace, 250 Fiber, 382 Hide, and 665 Metal Ingots. That's easy. We could do that. How, much, uh, how many Metal Ingots do we have, like, right now? I'm like, I'm kind of saving the Metal Ingots for the Industrial Forge itself, right? But. 600 something like that metal ingot says that's a lot you guys I may just wait until we have the industrial forge because at least when we have that thing We're going to be able to smelt metal like super duper fast and we're going to get a lot of metal back So I think it's worth it to wait. So yeah, I think that's what I'm going to do Just wait and uh, you know what we're going to be doing while we're waiting We're going to be finding another magmasaur egg or you know, maybe maybe several magmasaur egg I did get a comment from someone saying hey if you go out and try oh, yeah Those are the metal ingots for uh, his ammo. So I definitely want to keep those in here. Let's put those on uh, so let's give it a folder so I can at least, uh, so metal ingots, ingots, <laughs> ingots, there you go. So that way I can kind of keep track of how much metal we have and a little bit of crystal right there. Any other, uh, resources that's worth getting out of there? The raw metal, not really, or, uh, raw meat, not really necessary to keep in there. And the brain and arm, not necessary to keep in there either. And these berries, I don't know what, I still don't know what he's doing with these berries, if he eat them or if he's like... Like burning them, disposing of them. I don't know what he's doing with those, but uh, it's pretty interesting to see that he was like consuming them in one way or another earlier. Either way, let's put up the raw metal there. Boom, boom. Oh, I forgot to put the uh, other stuff up, but whatever. Uh, let's go over to the volcano here in just a moment, though. I don't know if there's a teleport that takes us closer to the volcano or if it's, you know, we actually do have to walk over there, but I suppose we can go there right now. This guy has uh, 17,000 health. He's full health right now, so that's good. I may even make a folder for the Ambergris so we can keep track of that a little bit easier as well. But thankfully, we dropped off like pretty much everything. So we're, we're, we're back down to 251 pounds of carry away. Whew. Out of the almost 1,000, I think, like 900 something. Yeah, 995, like literally like basically 1,000 right there. <laughs> so anyways, let's go up to like about right... Uh I don't know how to, how to point it out, but like up there-ish. Oh, I guess if anything, yeah, maybe my Dimorphodon has a few levels. There's a lot of metal I'm going across right now. I just saw some metal right there. I'm, I'm tempted to, to mine it and, and see how much metal we're going to get, but I'm I'm purposely trying to avoid mining the metal just to get our carry weight up and all that kind of jazz, just because I, I don't want to get over encumbered again. <laughs> so anyways, let's, let's climb up this like lava fall like path or whatever that's being carved out over here and make our way into the volcano, and it will, it will take us like straight into the Magmasaur area where it like has the eggs, you know, that side entrance or whatever. Like we don't even need to like descend down or anything like that. And it's a little bit closer too. So it's overall just a lot more convenient to take that pathway. So let me just pause real quick, head over to that side entrance that we discovered a couple episodes ago. And I'll see you guys here in just a bit. Hopefully we can find a high level Magmasaur egg inside there. 
All right, guys, I am back. Took me a little while to find this, but uh, I found the entrance slash exit slash whatever you want to call it over here <laughs> to the magma sore like area of the volcano, which is good. And then behind me, this is a uh, this is one way I was able to find this here. You guys, I looked up, I saw giant deposits of metal over here, and then I looked to the left a little bit and I saw, oh, oh, there's the entrance right there. <laughs> So that's pretty good. I also I also uh, killed a few scorpions over here, which is good because I killed them with the chainsaw and got a lot of their keratin slash chitin. So we were up to 895 right there. So that's great. Also found because it's it's currently the the like fear evolved event or whatever uh, for like Halloween for this year. It seems like they started it rather late. But I found like a spooky pile, I think it was called, and I found a scarecrow inside of it, which is really interesting. So we, we can use that to decorate our base a little bit. It's actually kind of fitting of the volcanic biome, if you ask me. Oh, here we go. Here we go. Oh, is this guy even able to fit inside of here? Surely he is, because this is like a magma sword cave, right? Oh, he's just barely able to slip into there, it seems. Now, there we go. Okay, well, at least it widens a little bit as we go into here. If we're not able to fit inside here, hey, at least we'll be able to break some rocks and maybe make a little bit of room, right? But, oh, yep, look at that. I'm already seeing lava falling inside there. I think we've already gotten in. Boom, yep. Now, where do we need to go? Oh, there's a lot of metal in here, too. I didn't even know. Oh, is that metal or... I, I thought it was sulfur. I thought it was metal... I just want to see what it is. It looks like sulfur. Like, it looks yellow. Yeah, that's sulfur. Okay, I was about to say, if that's metal, that is like a lot of metal. Is this guy really good at getting sulfur, too? Just curiosity's sake. 900 stone from the... Wait, was that a rock? Oh, I think he's... I, I don't think he's able to get sulfur, is he? I think he's able to get a lot of stone from... Yep, he's able to get a lot of stone from the sulfur rock. Kind of like... I think you're able to get a lot of stone if you mine a metal rich rock with a hatchet. Which I guess I can myth bust right now because I think that's a metal rich rock right there. I keep saying, oh, I think, I think this, I think that. I guess I can myth bust it, right? Uh, well, you still get a lot of metal. I don't know how much you get from how much, how much stone. Yeah, maybe you get a little bit more because I was able to, I was able to hit it like two or three times right there compared to once with that one rock. But I don't know. Maybe, maybe that's just fake news or something like that. Either way, let's see if there's any eggs down here. Were there eggs last time? I feel like, oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. I don't want this guy to fall into there. Cause I don't know how he's going to get out. He can't jump, he can't do any of that. I don't I don't think there's a nest down there, but there, it looks like there's some of that red crystal down there, which is good, or red gem. So that's good. I think there's more red gem down. I, th I think that's a scorpion down there, obsidian, a lot of metal. Two scorpions, that's good. Oh, speaking of scorpion, there's a scorpion up here. That's good. I guess I can kill him with this guy. Oh, two scorpions, nice. Kill him with this guy. Harvest a dead body with the chainsaw. So let's do that. I don't know how. Yeah, I guess I can test this guy out. See how get. Oh, whoops. I didn't get him. There you go. That's, that got him right there. I guess I can see how good he is at getting a chitin. So, nah, you know what? Let's leave that one. We can myth bust. So, how much are we going to get from this one? Boom. 267 chitin using the chainsaw. This guy with his uh, high melee damage. Only 41. Okay, yeah. I definitely want to use the chainsaw. <laughs> Especially whenever. Uh, oh, whoa. What's attacking us right now? Are we taking damage? We are taking damage. What? What are we taking damage from? We're in a volcano and we're made of like miniature volcanoes. How am I taking damage? I'm so confuzzled right now. Oh, this guy didn't die from that? Okay, there you go. Now he's dead. That's good. Yeah, I definitely want to. Oh, wait, hold on. Is the volcano. Ev oh, yep. Yeah, yeah, I didn't see it at the top. The volcano is about to erupt. Better evacuate, I think it said. But I do want to see if this guy actually will make it possible for us to survive a volcanic event. Because we, I, I, I heard, I read comments saying, hey, is that a, if I go down there, is there a way out of that? Because I know the, 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 the area we went into to get the first eggs. Is this guy actually taking damage? Okay, he's not. He's just got, oh wait, oh no, is that me? No, that's my uh, Dimorphodon taking the damage, I think. Hold on, hold on, hold on. This is a bad idea, bringing my Dimorphodon in here. Hold on, let's check. How much, how much health? Nah, basically no, uh, damn I'll, I'll give you some health right there, though. But yeah, as long as we're not touching the floor, we should be fine, I'd say. Is it erupting right now? I can't tell if it's erupting right now or what. But that little heckin' bat thing was attacking me right there, but now it's running away, so that's good. Yeah, you're on fire. You better stay away, Hater. A lot of scorpions here. A lot of scorpions, uh, spiders and stuff here. Oh, wait, hold on. Is that a mantis? Nah. I don't know if there are mantises here. If that, that'd be kind of weird if there was a mantis here, but yeah, Karen, you can get a lot of chitin from mantises as well, but I know I can get a lot of chitin from mining these guys with the chainsaw, but just because, you know, there's a volcanic event going on right now, I can't really risk that, you know, so I'm just going to mine him with our uh, magma sword here. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Let's go this way. What's happening? I, I actually can't. Oh, I'm web probably. Oh, oh my gosh. Oh, no. My Dimorphodon got killed. What? Man, 
F's in the chat for that I'm more man. That was a pretty good time more. I forgot what level it was, like 140 or something like that. Well, we're able to survive the, 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 like, hold on. How much health did he have? Yeah, he didn't take that much damage. I didn't take any damage. Yeah, I think my Dimorphodon took the damage because he was a short mounted critter and he didn't benefit from the, uh, like, what, what is that effect that we have from this guy? Like insulator or whatever that he gives us. We didn't benefit from that, unfortunately. So that sucks, man. Ah, all right, well, kill these Arthropleros, Palmer Scorpius, and Arrhenios, and other trash around here. That kind of sucks, though. Oh, I did actually, I, I think this was off camera. I did see a Max Wild Dino, and it was a Dimorphodon. So if I could find out where that was. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. Nah, it's a Rock Golem guy, though. Hold on. I wonder how much damage this guy takes from the, uh, let's see. Let's get the Searing Spit, and let's max it out. Boom. They actually did some substantial damage to him. I think that, that 700 damage was to him. It was, and he's taking 45 damage every second right now. Nice. Boom. Rock Golem's actually taking some pretty good damage. His Rock Throw only does 216 or something like that damage to us, which is nothing. Charge up again. Oh, whoa. Oh, I thought for a second our uh, Searing Spit was like instantly able to recharge because we're in a volcanic event, but no. Definitely want to be in lava, though, so we can instantly recharge. But this guy's going down pretty fast. He's inflamed. He's got the Magma Sword Heat going on right now. This is crazy. Hold on. Boom. Another 700 damage. I wonder how much we do uh, melee, though. I want to check. Another 700 damage. He's getting inflamed and stuff. 254 from melee. That's good. Th th these uh, Magma Swords can actually take on an X Rock Elemental. Nice. Getting oil, getting obsidian, getting metal from that guy. Not bad. All right, so now we don't even need to run away from them, which is great. Look at all these Arthropleras. Ugh. Disgusting. Now, is this guy get, able to get a pretty good amount of chitin from these guys, though? 85 right there. He has some levels right now, right? Yeah, he's just got one level. I guess I'll give him some melee damage. He's already got some pretty good health. He's, we, we've got the Ambergris stuff to heal him up if he's, like, in an emergency situation. He's about to die or anything like that, right? But yeah, the 2,500 damage per second or whatever from the volcanic event. Our Dimorphodon went down instantly with that, so that sucks. Uh, actually, no, he didn't. Yeah, he took he took two hits because he had 3,000 health. So yeah, not instantly, but, you know, pretty, pretty heckin' fast. We need to figure out where the heckin' eggs are, and once we actually find the eggs, we need to wait till this event ends. Because, unfortunately, I can't touch the ground, much less explore actual lava pools to go grab some eggs. Uh, I don't think I can go down there. It looks like there's a nest right there, but... If I go down there, how do I get out of there? I guess if anything, I could swoop in, swoop out with my jetpack and, and, and what do you call it? Combo? Glide suit combo? There you go, trying to get this, uh, magma sword button. 1150 damage right there. Nice. That is really good. 642 with our claws. That is great. One more hit and it's down. Boom. Level 85 magma sword. Oh! Ours is a level 85 baseline. Able to kill a level 85, no problem right there. Nice. That's awesome. Either way, I'm like, as long as we keep descending, it should be easier to find these areas where you can go inside the, the Magma Sword nest area. Just that these Arthropleras have so much health, they have 3,000 health. And that was a level 142, so it was almost maxed out right there, too. Golly! Three more Magma Swords, like, right here. Uh, I feel like that goes up, so that might not be where we want to go. Well, I guess if anything... Oh, a Maxwell Dino here. Obviously not going to be that Dimorphodon. Oh, whoa! Oh, oh, Searing Spit missed us both times right there. Nice job! <laughs> I think the Arthropleros. Oh, the Arthropleros. Oh, it's getting hot. Stay away. Oh! Is that. Uh, no, that's just a Magma Sword, like, inflamed or whatever effect that is. Which is kind of funny if you think about it. I don't think that's the volcanic event. Is it? It might be. Yeah, I, I think I actually got hit by one of the Searing Spits right there, and that's what's heating us up right there, actually, now that I think about it. Yeah. Speaking of such. Oh, and you not get hit by that. Let's charge one up. And let's try and hit him with it. Oh, he's like. He's like. Oh, the angle's not good. Nah, the angle's not good, but we're- Ah, we just got hit again! Man! Alright, let's turn around, let's get this one with the steering spit. Oh, we still got him, though, the, the splash of it. Oh, this is like the Battle of the Titans right here, this is crazy! And, ba-boom! A, uh, a radio down, Magma Sword down, Palma to Scorpius down, there's another one in the background when you take her. I can't even see there's so much going on right now. Charge it up! Is that gonna hit him, or is it gonna hit, like, these Aranios and Scorpions and stuff? Uh, it did hit him. That's good. I don't know how much health he has, but man, ours is at like half health. We need to watch out. We really need to watch out. Hold on. Let's charge up another one here. And let's try and do some great. Oh, it, oh, it charged one up to me. Too bad I can't block or hit his fireball with my own fireball and like have it cancel out. That'd be pretty funny. <laughs> I can't move though, because I'm over encumbered out the butt from what? Oh man, I've got a ton of stone. Man, that that sucks. Man, we there's so much stone in here. We just we just 
like use the attack to like you know attack critters and stuff like that and we're mining stone accidentally and i had like 400 pounds of stone right there basically golly that was crazy man that was fun though take it on those uh oh another map oh whoops didn't mean to zoom in right there oh whoops oh i guess if you don't charge it up all the way it kind of has like a how do i do this yeah, it's like a little mini fireball little thing instead of like an actual like a giant steering spit meme. Hmm, interesting. I don't know how effective it is. It, I, I definitely. Oh, whoa, another rock golem guy like right here. Hold on, let's get let's charge this up all the way. Nice. He's taking some substantial damage from that. Charge it up again. Boom! Another huge hit right there. This is this is charging up pretty fast. I think the uh, volcano event is over actually, so I think it's safe for us to go down there, and and collect eggs, and of course mine. Tons of chitin from these scorpions and orthopleuras and other stuff like that. We got the magmasaur right in front of us, too! I'm cornered! I'm backed up against a wall, but I'm able to kill the magmasaur! And now I'm trying to take care of the rock elemental right here. Do some good damage to him. He's on fire, he's taking some great damage over time. Let's use a little bit of 257 every swipe of our claws right now. This is crazy. Frame rate took a hit right there, though. There's so much flames and stuff going on right now, it's crazy. Do another big uh, hit on him, though. And boom! Huge- Whoa! That did like three- Oh man, that killed him instantly. Holy man. <laughs> that was great. Yeah, that was there. That was very bad of us. Backed up into a corner like that. That was terrible. But we're, we're able to still make a success out of it, which is good. Now down there, I do see a lot of red gems. Like, it looks like a beach type area, but where does it lead? I guess I can go down there. Are there any eggs or uh, nests? Uh, I'm looking. I think I see a couple of them. But there are like three or four magma swords down there I need to take care of first. Like right... Uh, can I zoom? Like right there? Um, for some reason the thing isn't zooming in, but I'll do a searing spit to these guys just because why not? <laughs> oh, is that, oh, it's not going to hit them. Oh, I hit the lava. Nah, whatever. Anyways, yeah, there are a couple eggs down there. I guess we can see how good those are. We do need to take care of those magma swords down there, which I guess if anything, we're going to be in lava, so our searing spit is going to charge up, like, instantly. We're, we're just going to eat some ambergris right now. Oh, I really need to go back to the lunar biome. We're, we're eating through this ambergris fast. Let's do another, uh, let's do another melee damage. Boom. There you go. Why not? Oh, what's happening? Something aggro on me? I don't know where it is. It's probably- oh it's, oh, it's that one down there. Okay. Let's go down there. Let's go next to the eggs and stuff. Let's go in the lava so we can get our searing spit charged up, like, instantly. Took some fall damage right there. Completely un uh, unnecessary fall damage, I guess you can call it. But there you go. Instantly charged up searing spit. Do another one back there. I just need to I need to keep an eye on how much actual metal ingots we have though. Am I even hitting anything right now? Can't tell if I am or not, but okay, okay, we're on land right now, so we have to wait for it to actually charge up. And then boom, there we go. Hit that one right there. Do another one. Boom, that one's down. That's good. We have like four of them there in the background shooting towards us. This is crazy. I think I'm able to actually hit their uh fireballs, which is funny. I don't- I think they still, uh, explode and do damage to me, though, so I do need to watch out for that, but we're doing 648 damage to each one of these guys right now, which is crazy good. Let's do a big steering spit right here where these guys all are, and I just killed three of them at once! There's a level 145 in here somewhere! I hope one of them laid an egg! Or I hope that one specifically laid an egg, because that would be a great one. Hold on, one more hit should take this one down. There you go, boom. There's a lot of red gems here we can mine, too, so let's go. There we go, get some red Oh no, it's just giving us stone again. Man! Oh, a lot of black pearls there! Ooh, I guess if anything, if, if there's no way out of here, we can just teleport out of here with Helena. But yeah, let's get these black pearls, you guys. Golly, we definitely need them. Holy heck. Let's give this guy some more ambergris, because man, he needs that too. But man, killing those uh, magma swords right there, even though we have 70-something level ups from this guy already. Almost 70, because I think it was level 85 when we got him, right? Like, he's still getting a lot of levels. Like, we just leveled up right before he came down here, killed like five Magmasaurs, two more levels right there, boom. Took a lot of damage during that, though, so definitely want to upgrade that saddle, so hopefully when we get home, we're, we're going to be able to make that industrial forge and be able to, uh, let's get some health, too, and be able to, uh, smelt, like, insane amounts of metal to where, you know, hundreds of metal at a time, which, uh, we need, like, 665 to upgrade at once, probably, like, another couple thousand or something like that to upgrade it a second time to apprentice level or something like that, so... Either way, let's get this guy real quick. Maybe maybe I'll grab some red gems, too. I don't know what we're gonna, I'm going to use it for, necessarily, but I'll, I'll grab some. Just because... There you go. Just because, uh... Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. I don't know what I just took damage right there from, but I'll, I'll get some health, I'll get some food. Get some... Whoa, element shot! Wait, whoa, wait, what? Element shot... Hold on. Uh, black pearls right there, too. I'm getting element shard from these things? Why am I getting... I'm not complaining. Yeah, look at that. 390... I thought we had to go to, like, the lunar biome to get the element shards and stuff. 
Ooh, what is this thing? Magnus or uh, inventory? Yeah, I don't need that garbage. Huh. I am taking a little bit of damage. I'm getting singed every now and then, I think. I don't know what from necessarily, but uh, let's go up here. Let's go check on these eggs. Do not. Oh, no, I'm gliding. I'm gliding. Accidentally gliding right now. Whoops. Oh, like, 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 like. Oh, land, land, land. Woo. That's good. There's a heckin' magma store there in the background, though. I need to get it with the fabricated sniper rifle. Oh, thrown. Ah! Thrown that gets stuff at. Oh, I think I got hit. I think, yeah, we got hit. We got, we did. Oh, no, there's two of them. There's one right there. Let's get the one that's closer to us. We're getting hit by these heckin' magma balls. Hold on. We, yeah, we hit that one. That's good. We just got hit a couple times. There you go. It's getting hot. Stay away. Well, you you better get hot, too, because I hit you with that heckin' flame thing. There you go. Or a fireball. Whatever you want to call it. There you go. Level 95 down. That's good. Let's try to get this one, too. Maybe go into a lava so we can instantly get the searing spit up, as well as because I need to just turn around, so I need to go into lava anyways, right? Here we go. Here we go. Instant searing spit. Boom. Instant searing spit. Oh, wait. Did it go? There you go. Boom. Let's get him. Claw him down, and he's dead. Oh, God. <laughs> His dead body just went flying right there. I love when it does that. It's just like crazy. <laughs> These physics are awesome. Anyways, let's go on to this island here where this nest is. Dismount, and then instantly check up on the eggs. Maybe grow. Oh, I, I can actually see it with the thing right here. Egg health, that one's a level 55, level 20. Man! Are these the same eggs from last time? I feel like they might be, actually. Ooh. If that's the case, we need to go somewhere. Actually, hold on, hold on. I'm over encumbered. From what, though? Hold on, get on this guy. Get on. Yep, there you go. Uh, oh, I've got black pearls and I. Oh, I've got a lot of stone as well. I've got uh, element shards. I got metal. Put that in your inventory because it weighs less. There you go. There you go. A lot of man. We're getting killed. Where's this one? Oh, it's shooting from across the heckin' thing. I guess I'll grab this other egg real quick though. Well, it's shooting. It's shooting. This guy could soak it up though. Oh, you missed. Anyways, Pfft. we didn't even get hit by like the random extra explosion shards or whatever right there. Oh, I think there is a button I could hit to it. Oh, oh, we got hit by that one, though. We need to watch out. Don't let that happen again. Man. Ah. Oh. All right, is there any more, uh... I don't know if there are any more nests around here we can actually go steal heckin' eggs from, but there are a lot of magma stores here, and they are upset with me because I just stole two eggs. I'm not saying... Oh, wait, hold on. There's a nest right... Oh, there are no eggs in there, though. Yeah, no eggs. Oh, wait, no, there is one. Level ah, oh, 55. Why don't you guys lay in any better eggs? That's terrible. <laughs> oh, I guess we'll go over here. Oh, whoa, whoa, that guy's like stuck in the thing. Yeah, there's no way out of here. I don't know how to get out of here. Well, let's get rid of this. There you go. I don't know how to get out of here. I need I need to searing spit this guy instantly. Hold on, let's get in the lava. Boom. Searing spit. Ready to go. How's that not hitting him? You're not charged. Am I out of metal? Oh, I am, I think. Yeah, I'm out of metal, man. I feel like I might have put some metal up, unfortunately, so that sucks. Well, look at all the dead magma sores there in the lava. That, that That's kind of funny. <laughs> oh, God, we're actually getting pretty low on health. Let's get some ambergris. Boom. There we go, up to 10,000, 12,000 health. We're going to be able to do 400 damage per hit right now. Not too bad to these guys, but it, it's going to have to add up to... Ah, oh, man. Yeah, they have 6,000 health. We should be able to win. We're over 10,000. Boom, that one's down. That's good. Oh, that one's, that one's like charging up right there or something. One level 135 right there. Yeah, well, we have some levels right now we can apply to. One more, one's about to go down. That one's down. That's good. Another one down. No, not yet. Not yet. I was looking at the dead. But, oh, wait. Both those just died at the same time and their bodies are going flying. That's funny. <laughs> nice. All right, I guess we'll, with them dead. More black pearls there, I see. That's good. I guess we'll go grab this egg and we can teleport out of here. And, oh, wait, hold on. There's a second egg right there. Ah, oh, it's a level 50. How is it too cold? <laughs> That's so funny. I don't know how that's a thing, but okay, I guess it is. Hold on, I put the, uh, oh, I didn't put it in his inventory. Okay, there you go. And then, uh, there you go. Picked up all nearby, I think. I hit the button. I don't know if it actually did it. Nope, I just have one egg right there. Grab another one. Grab another one. Hurry up, hurry up. There you go. Before a heckin' volcanic event happens. Boom, there you go. All right. Well, we have, like, four eggs now. Level 55, 20, 55, and 50. Not really the best, considering we saw like two, three Magmasaurs well over level 100. One of them were like level 135 or something like that. That would have been a really good egg to have, but whatever. I guess it didn't breed over here. Either that or it didn't. It didn't produce an egg just yet, I guess. I don't know. I don't know if there's a way out of here with this Magmasaur. So, teleportation time, I guess? <laughs> I guess it's time to teleport. So, uh, Helena. Let's say uh, hello to Helena. There you go. And let's, oh, let's teleport to, oh, what happened? Something attacking me and it's... There you go. I think something's attacking me right now and it's canceling out the teleportation thing. Oh wait, yep, there's an Uranio underneath me. I see it. Yeah, okay, there you go. It's dead. Nice. That's good. Alright, well, let's go back home. Unfortunately, we had a death. We lost our Dimorphodon. 
that was a pretty good uh, short amount of critter. It was pretty high level, like 140 or something like that baseline before any uh, any taming bonus. There was, a, there was a level 150 out there somewhere. I just don't know where it is, but I, I definitely want to tame another one, so... I'll have to keep my eyes peeled for another time, Orvidon. Have a good uh, short amount of credit to kind of do some damage in the background, but it's just that if we go back into the volcano, oh, what? Am I glitched? I think I glitched like inside of the heckin' Magmasaur right there. That's kind of crazy. But yeah, if, if we go back inside the volcano with the Dimorphodon, yeah, it's probably going to die again if a volcano event happens. So, lesson learned, I guess, right? If if we have a short amount, whoa, 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 whoa! Oh, yeah, we still have some more uh, spooky event stuff going on right now. Another spooky pile. What's this? Pumpkin. Hey, I'll grab that. Don't mind if I do. Yeah, there's like random stuff on the ground. Like like I said earlier, I had the, uh, it was like a scarecrow. We just got a pumpkin right there from that, that like, pumpkin patch. So definitely want to keep our eyes peeled for any more of those random things. Because I think you could actually not only use them for decoration, but you could also use them in like a, a cooking pot or something like that to craft uh, special items. Perhaps. I don't know. I can't remember. Uh, remember early on in the series, we had like a summer event and we we're able to actually get these shorts because we were able to craft them using something. I forgot what they were. <laughs> <laughs> but it was pretty funny, so maybe we have something funny we can get for uh, for a Halloween event as well. But anyways, for right now though, I don't think these were smelting in the background. Yeah, maybe they might have been, because that's up to 116 now. It was like at 21 or something like that just a moment ago, I think. Uh, either way, let's see if I can actually make the forge. Uh, hold on, I don't think I'm able to right now, right? Yeah, I'm still missing the polymer and the cement base. I think I'm able to make the cement base right now though, because we just got a ton of it. So let's try and make 100 crafts. Uh, boom, yep, there you go, boom. Let's see how fast that's making it. Yeah, okay, it makes... It makes six at a time. Okay, that's good. But look at how fast it's going. It's going six, 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 six. Boom, 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 boom. So that's good. I like that. Let's grab all that. Uh, I don't know if that's enough to make the 98 polymer, I think, that uh, we needed just a moment ago. So I'll see if I can make a uh, 98 of that real quick. If it needs more, hopefully it can pull. Uh, sorry, okay, I can make 75 right now. I'm missing uh, 45 cent of base right now. So we're going to be able to do that here in just a moment. There you go. Let's make like 55 more then. Sure, why not? There you go. Let's get those going. And then uh, hopefully we'll be able to make the actual uh, industrial forge here in just a moment. All right, I think we have... Oh man, that is bright in the background. What in the world? <laughs> I think we have enough. Let's see. Forge. See if I can make it now. Uh, 11 cement a bit. That's like two crafts. Can I really not make... What? Now I'm missing 37 stone. <laughs> That's so embarrassing. All right. Well, uh, this guy's really good at getting stones, so... Uh... Beep, beep, back up a little bit and get some stone from, like, right here. Let's see if we can make, uh, the suspender base now, so... Just do two crafts of that. There you go, boom, boom, there you go, 12. <laughs> so we should be able to make it now, right? So let's see. And there it is right there. AA Industrial Forge can use electricity or gas to operate. Pulls raw metal from nearby dinos. Crafting speed is set in the I and I. Okay, so let's do that. That's 2,500 smelted metal ingots right there. And it better be worth it. 50 pounds, how big is it? Uh, I feel like it's a little bit smaller from what I remember, but I am able to place it indoors, though. That's good. I guess if anything, I could get rid of these two old ones and then just put it, like, right here. But it kind of it kind of sticks out a little bit, you know? I guess if anything, maybe I could put it, like, this? I, could, I guess I could put it right here where my bed is, right? I suppose I could. It'll keep my bed nice and warm, I suppose. <laughs> so there you go. All right, I feel like it's smaller. Half of it's inside the house, half of it's outside. Hey, at least it's not on the roof, right? So I don't need to make, like, a hatch to make it go up. And, of course, our uh, wireless generator is set to a pretty big radius to go out to our uh, incubation area, so it's able to reach this, obviously, right? So there you go. And uh, let's just pull all... How do I do it? Uh, disable pulling, no balance forges. So that should balance between this and the two other forges that we have, right? Or does it only do it between... Uh, I mean, I don't know. Let, let, me, let me grab... There you go. Oh, God. How am I able to carry 2,000 metal? There you go. See if I can pull all the metal over here now. So, there you go. Pull all that. Boom. And is this smelting right now? It says powered. Uh, yep, 20. It, it makes 20 at a time. I forgot it was 20. I thought it was like 6 or 12 or something like that. No, 20 at a time. Boom. This has the power of 20 forges. So, yeah, we're, we're smelting this fast, you guys. That's good. But when we have like 20,000 heckin' raw metal here, it's going to take a while to smelt that up. That means we're going to have 10,000 metal ingots when this is done, you guys. So this is going to be absolutely insane. Either way, I think this episode is getting, like, way too long. So I need to stop it, like, right now before I get too carried away. <laughs> but either way, I guess I'll end the episode off right here. And then when we come back, I suppose we'll go back inside the volcano. See so if we could actually find a, uh, another, like, maybe another higher level egg or something like that. Didn't have any luck today, unfortunately. So we get the eggs. I guess I can grab the eggs from you. Uh, they are 50 pounds each, so... I don't know if I'm able to resource pull eggs or anything like that, so I guess I'll grab two at a time, 100 pounds each. They're, uh, there you go, 100 pounds each trip, that is. 
Whoa, what happened to that? Oh, there they are right there. I thought I thought those eggs disappeared or something like that, but yeah, I guess we'll go back inside the volcano, try and find a higher level one, or maybe even do a mission. We haven't done a mission yet. How many episodes have we been in the volcano biome? We haven't had a heckin' mission yet. And I, I, maybe the first mission we could do the Waves of Dinos mission, because of course I always love doing that one. That's always fun. And uh, maybe we could actually, between this episode and next episode, I could find out where that Dimorphron was that I saw that was a level 150. If it's even still alive or not despawned or anything like that, right? So that'd be really nice. But until then, I guess I'll end the episode off right here. So thank you guys all very much for watching. If you guys enjoyed the video, be sure to let me know by leaving a like down below. And if you guys want more of these awesome videos, oh man, I'm going to need to get more Ambergris too. Yeah, because we ate a lot of it during that, like just to make this guy make sure he didn't die or anything like that. Ooh, yeah, we only have eight. Oh, we're gonna have to go back to the lunar biome next episode. I don't know if I want to take one of these to the lunar biome just like real quick, get in and get out. Maybe. I have to think about it. Maybe I can. Maybe. Maybe. I could in probably incubate one of these eggs and like sacrifice it. Like I know that's the most savage thing to say in the universe. Like a level 15. Or well, if I did that, it'd have like really low health. Man, I don't know. Man, maybe that's just a bad idea all around. I'm not going to do that. <laughs> But man, oh wait, yeah, I've got Ambergris right here still. I have 130 right there. Yeah, I only gave them like half of the Ambergris I even had, and I split it between them anyway, so I only gave them a quarter each. So that's good. We still have some Ambergris. So that's good. So don't probably don't need to go to the Lunar Biome anytime soon, thankfully. But yeah. Anyways, where I don't know where I was in the outro. You guys already know the deal. If you guys enjoyed the video, be sure to hit the like button. If you guys want more of these awesome videos, be sure to hit the subscribe button. And I'll see you guys here next time with some more Arc Genesis. Uh, unfortunately, we don't have a Dimorphodon on our shoulder. But maybe next episode we'll have one on our shoulder again. But like I said, thank you guys all very much for watching. And I'll see you guys here next time with some more Arc Genesis here in the Volcanic Biome. Oh, bye there. Oh.